This lesson is corresponding parts of similar figures. This is module 16.3 in our Integrated Math 2 link. So when you go to MrMathBlog.com, you click on Integrated Math 2 at the top, and you'll, you'll see this lesson loaded in there. Okay, so um, our question here is if we know that two figures are similar, what can we determine about the measure of their corresponding, oh, I thought I fixed that, corresponding um, uh, angles and lengths. I got an extra I in there. Let me take that out. So, okay, uh, let's go ahead and get started here. So, uh, corresponding parts of similar figures. Okay, so properties of similar figures. And I'm going to go ahead and use uh, these two triangles are similar. So, triangle ABC is similar to triangle X, Y, Z. So the first thing is um, corresponding angles of similar figures are congruent. So that means, um, uh, well, let's just go through this right here. So if I uh, took all of these angles right here, angle A, angle B, angle C, this is our order. Like congruent triangles, similar triangles, the order matters. So angle A would correspond with X, okay? And then uh, the second letter would correspond, so B, that's B, would correspond with this second letter, angle Y. And finally, uh, C and Z are corresponding similarly, you guys. Well, not similarly, but uh, corresponding sides of similar uh, figures are proportional. Proportional means you can do a fraction equals a fraction. They're not equal to each other, they're proportional. So proportion means you get a fraction equals a fraction, and we can do that math procedure that's called cross multiplication, okay? So here, the corresponding side that goes with AB, uh, here's AB, so that would be XY, the first two letters on that one. So AB over XY equals, okay, BC is the second and third letter, so the second and third letter over here, okay? And it also equals, if I did uh, the first and third letter, it's going to equal the first and third letter XZ right there, okay? Now, you have to be consistent. If you notice, I always did the left figure in the numerator and the right figure corresponding figure in the denominator. So you could do righty over lefty or lefty over righty. You just have to be consistent. Notice lefty is on top on all of them right there, okay? All right, so figure uh, EFGH maps to figure RSTU by some sort of similarity trans, uh, transformation. So this says write a proportion that contains EF and RU. Okay, so EF, EF is the first two letters. So the first two letters are R and S. So EF and RS are corresponding. So there's a ratio right here. Now notice we got a set of equal to RU. Well, RU is the right figure. So since we have RS in the bottom, the right figure on the bottom, then RU is going to go on the bottom for the second part of the proportion. Okay, so RU is the first and last letter. So over here, the first and last letter is EH. Okay, notice we did lefty over righty. So here's lefty over righty, lefty over righty right there. Okay, you have to be consistent when we're doing that. All right, so list any angles that must be congruent to angle G or congruent to angle U. Okay, so angle G is the third, so that's going to be equal to T right there, okay? And then uh, uh, let's go ahead and put that down. So, so angle U is the last, so that's going to be congruent to angle H. The angles are congruent and the corresponding sides are proportionate. Fraction equals a fraction is proportion and the angles are congruent. All right, so given that these figures are congruent, find the values of X and Y. Okay, X is pretty easy, you guys. This is kind of, they didn't tell us any of the letters, so we don't know which letter goes with which, so we have to use the figures to help figure this out. So, so can you see if we could lay this guy uh, laying down right here? This 4Y would correspond with the 10 right there. The 3Y would correspond with the 5. Um, and then uh, this 4X is going to correspond with the 95 right there. So we'll go ahead and set those angles equal to each other. Subtract 27 and then divide by 4. So X is pretty easy. Okay. And then so we just have to be consistent, you guys. We're going to use these four sides to get Y. we got to set up a proportion with the sides. Okay, the sides don't equal each other. They're proportionate with each other. So I'm going to do left figure over right figure. You can do right over left. I just, just be consistent, whatever you do. Here I'm going to do lefty over righty equals lefty over righty. Okay, so um, uh, 4 over the side that corresponds with it equals this side over the side that corresponds with it. So there it is right there. 
and then we can cross multiply and then uh, distribute the 10 through okay and then uh, I'm gonna subtract the 20 Y and add 50 to both sides and so we get Y equals 5 okay let's do one more of these okay so here we have these two triangles are similar right here so triangle uh, a B and then here's E right here similar to triangle a C D okay let's get X X is easy this angle is gonna equal this angle right here see angle B equals angle C okay so we can't say angle B when we're looking at the picture we'll have to say angle A B E because there's three angles here this angle this angle and then and the straight angle right here but at angle C there's only one angle so we can call it angle C right there okay so those angles are equal so we set them equal to each other Subtract 14, divide by 3, we get x equals 12. That one's easy enough. To figure out uh, y, try to draw the triangle separately, you guys. Okay, it's easier to see uh, their similar figures that way. Okay, so uh, let's see. So uh, oh, forget that B right there. I should have taken that out, but that's okay. I just didn't take it out. But here's the big triangle ACD, and then here's the triangle ABE. Okay, so lefty over righty equals lefty over righty. So that's what I'm going to do right there. Okay. So there's our proportion, and when we set that up, we can cross multiply and then distribute the four through. Okay, so. Subtract 22.4 from both sides, and you get 5.6. So I know 4 times uh, 7 is 28, so 4 times 14 is 56, and so it's uh, 14 is 1.4. So anyways, Y is 1.4. All right, you guys, if you are in our class, that's going to be your homework assignment. Take care.